There's over 9 million people using Coinbase and it's the second biggest crypto exchange in the world. It's packed with lots of really great features and during this video we'll be covering everything from setting up an account to showing you some recommendations for great crypto investments and also how to take advantage of all of the features that Coinbase offers. So firstly if you make an account you're going to need all the general pieces of info like email address, phone number, a verified bank account. If you sign up to any crypto exchange and start investing you're going to have to provide this type of info so it's all part and parcel of investing in the cryptocurrency space so when it comes to the investment options on coinbase you get access to a whole variety of different cryptocurrencies of course there is all the big stable investments like bitcoin ethereum ada and solana and then there's also the meme coins like shiba inu dogecoin and pepe you can also invest into ai based cryptos and gaming tokens as well there's a whole variety of Offered by Coinbase but when it comes to knowing exactly where you should be putting your money it's hard to give a direct recommendation it's important to know that Bitcoin is the anchor for the cryptocurrency market all other cryptos are referred to as altcoins and they'll follow Bitcoin with a 1.5 to two and a half X multiple so basically if Bitcoin goes up 10% all other cryptos in the market will go up 15 to 25 percent this is great in a bull run when the whole market is doing well but this can also happen in reverse so if bitcoin loses 10 percent all the altcoins will come down 15 to 25 percent or even more sometimes as well investments like bitcoin and ethereum are essentially like the microsoft and apple of the crypto space they're really big established cryptocurrencies and they make up the bulk of the crypto market cap bitcoin's worth well over a trillion dollars at the moment and ethereum is worth about half a billion smaller cryptocurrencies like solana and ADA will potentially give you a better return because their market caps are a lot smaller. They don't need as much money to drive the price of them up or down. You can also, of course, invest into meme coins like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. People might say these don't have any intrinsic value, but at the same time, if a lot of people are investing into them, then it will drive the price up. And if you get in early, you will make a profit from the investment. If you want to keep track of the crypto market, a really good website to use is CoinGecko. It will show you a rundown of what the market is doing and you can also look at different classifications or types of coins like you can look at AI coins, meme coins, gaming tokens or just the crypto market as a whole. So how do you actually buy crypto through Coinbase? So there's two options for this. Either you can buy your crypto directly from Coinbase and have it stored on the Coinbase exchange. Now personally I wouldn't recommend doing this. In the past exchanges have been hacked and they have gone bankrupt as well. If you follow the crypto space you probably have heard of FTX and Celsius filing for bankruptcy. I personally had about four and a half thousand dollars on my Celsius wallet when they declared bankruptcy. Thankfully I was able to get that all back but you don't always know if that's going to happen so learn from my mistake and don't leave your money on the exchange you buy it from. Only use the exchange to actually purchase your crypto but don't have it be your storage platform. To store your crypto you can either use a software wallet or a hardware wallet. Now a software software wallet is typically a free piece of downloadable software that you can use on your phone or your computer. There's a whole variety of software wallets. The one that I like to use is Exodus. It's a free downloadable program. It's supported both on iOS and Android. You can use it completely on your phone or you can use it on your computer as well or both if you wanted. Then you can also get hardware wallets which are physical devices. These are a lot more secure than a software wallet. They don't have any connection to the internet. They're called cold storage but with these the security comes from keeping a hold of your seed phrase hardware wallets are a lot more secure but they do have their faults as well some of the most popular companies are trezor and ledger and there are pros and cons between the different providers so do your own research on which wallet you think is going to be the best for you the one that i personally use is a trezor model t it's gotten pretty expensive since i bought mine it's about 200 to 250 us dollars for for Trezor Model T, there are cheaper versions like a Trezor Model 1, which isn't as expensive. It doesn't support as many cryptos, but it is a lot cheaper. So if we jump over to the Coinbase app, this is what the home screen 
of the platform looks like and if you want to buy your crypto you can just click on the buy icon in the top right corner you can see i've only got about 44 dollars on my account but you click on buy and then you select which crypto you want to be purchasing so let's say we wanted to buy bitcoin then it's going to have a few different payment options as well so at the moment i have a bank card tied to my profile and with this the fees are a bit higher versus if you have a bank account tied to your coinbase wallet so if i was going to invest a thousand dollars so you can see at the bottom of the screen it's going to charge me 38 dollars in fees for making this investment and if you link it to a bank account you are going to save a bit more money so i would personally recommend linking a bank account to reduce some of the costs you can also send crypto directly from a wallet over to your coinbase profile you can take a look at your assets at the bottom of the screen at the moment i pretty much only have bitcoin and just just a couple of dollars of ethereum you can also set up reoccurring payments if you want a dollar cost average into a specific crypto investment and then if you want to click on explore you can go through some of the top assets in the crypto space and then a really great feature as well is the earn tab so you can earn interest on your crypto through staking where you lock it up for a certain period of time and gain interest on it and different cryptos have different lock up periods some might only be three days but others you might have to wait up to three weeks before you can eventually sell and you can see the different staking rewards so polka dots nine percent cosmos five percent polygon just under three percent and this can be a great way to earn interest but keep in mind while the crypto is staked on the exchange you're in a much more vulnerable position i had my crypto staked on celsius and then eventually the company went bankrupt so keep in mind that just because it's staked on a exchange it might be great because it earns you interest but at the same time you are taking a risk with that money as well so on this tab where you can stake your crypto you can also earn rewards for learning about different different aspects of the cryptocurrency space for example i can earn 12 dollars in v chain by going through a 10 minute course that gets me to complete different tasks so i can learn the finer details of the specific cryptocurrency i can earn three dollars in zeta and you can see at the top of the screen i could get up to 76 dollars if i did all of these different modules learning about cryptocurrency here you can earn up to 30 dollars with quests in the coinbase wallet so it is really helpful to potentially go through some of these to get a bit more extra money and of course a bit more understanding about the cryptocurrency space knowing how to use an exchange is just part of the process of knowing how to buy cryptocurrency you also want to be familiar with the different storage options and also the step-by-step -step process of buying crypto from an exchange and sending it to a wallet to make sure that your crypto can stay nice and safe and you don't run the risk of any hacks or losing that money if you want to see a complete guide from start to finish of buying your very own cryptocurrency then make sure to check out this video on screen that will show you exactly how that's done.